G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. We've got the Nature Hike Vic 2 tent. Now I've tested this tent in the winter when it's been cold. I've tested it when it's been wet. And now the, the end of the summer coming into autumn here in Australia. The day temperature is about 31 de degrees centigrade and it's going to drop down to a minimum of 15 degrees centigrade. So I want to see what this is like to sleep in and what the condensation is like. But first of all, I'll quickly put it up and show you as I go along. Now the footprint, your ground sheet or your mat whatever you want to call it, and tag goes on the upside, the opposite to the ground side of it. Now the pole is two poles. This smaller one, which is the ridge, is made up of three pieces. And then we've got the main section here, one unit made up of many little sections. The grommets of the main fly of the sheet are colour coded. We've got an orange one this end and a silver one this end. And that will go, uh, go with the actual pole, which has got the same orange at the point at one end and silver at the other end. Now these clips are double hooks, which makes it easy, just put it on the middle and twist it and there we are. There's no more to do, clip it over, force it into place, I said nice and easy, just twist it and it's all secure. Instead of trying to force it onto this bit at the top, what we're going to do is just push it through, it's a lot easier and a lot less strain on here. And then on this side, we've got another silver grommet on here, and we're just going to put it on the end of this bit of pole. Again, we're going to grab the grommet, give it a tug, and that's that done. That's the main part of the tent complete now. At this point, we can pick it up, move it around, and decide which direction we want it facing in. Nice and easy, or if we've got any bits between the ground sheet and the base of the tent, shake it out and pock it down where you want it. side vestibules for now because we've got a breeze coming in from this side and it's blowing through at the moment so the only two points are pegged out were at either end we're coming from the point here with the ventilation on the ins inside <laughs>
go to your nature hike fit two all set up a sleeping bag sleeping mat pillow and my pack in there i've just got a few bits left up here at the shelter Okay, the sun's going to go down shortly and I'm back in the Nature Hike Vic 2 tent. Now, temperature today got up to 31 where uh, I am now. The lowest, they reckon it's going to get down to about 15 degrees centigrade tonight. So let's see how we do if we get any condensation in a summer uh, scenario. The amount of mesh there is in this tent and the vents at the top, either end of the tent. So here's the ones at the top, as you can see. We've got the one that runs across the bottom here. We've got the door mesh. It runs across the bottom there and the door mesh behind. So I'm hoping the breeze comes back because over the last half hour, the cool breeze has gone away. So I'm hoping we don't get any condensation tonight, or a lot less than we had last time. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that for now. And I'll talk to you later or in the morning. Good morning, how are you all? Last night, temperature got down to about 15 degrees, which we were expecting. How did I get on with the Nature Hike Vic 2 tent? Now, I've used it before in the rain, I've used it in the very cold conditions. And then two conditions, I didn't like it. We, we had, well, I did like it, but I didn't like it because of the condensation and the amount of ventilation it was just cold in there so when you hear people say it's a four season tent no it's not it's not a four season tent as far as i'm concerned it's a summer tent it was a little bit warm at first when i got into the tent and it's the sun was setting and as the breeze was blowing you could feel it coming through the side panel you could feel it coming through my head end through the ventilation there and I could also feel movement of the breeze blowing through the vents, the roof vents. So I'm walking on track and a few boulders there. Uh, so the ventilation I thought it was really good. I did like that. Just feel it whichever way the breeze blew, it came in to the tent. So summer tent, great. Like I said, you've got your vestibules which you can put up and use as awnings if you want to sit underneath there or create extra shade while you're in your tent or if you just want to put it up and cook underneath it the options in that sense they're brilliant this morning zero condensation none in the vents, none on the walls, none above where my head where I'm laying no condensation at all and like I said it got down to about 15 degrees centigrade so it's a summer tent. Will I use it again? Or could I recommend it? Yes, I'll use it again. No, not in the winter. No, not in the cold or wet seasons. In the warm summer season, yes. It's a great tent for the summer. Uh, quality wise, it's a good quality tent for the price you pay for it. Like I said, I've had it in rain. I've got condensation but it kept the water out, it was waterproof. 
all the seams are tape sealed. So if you are in and you get a summer shower, you're protected there. <sighs> weight wise, like I said, I think the weight for what you're getting, it is lightweight. It's not one of these ultra lighters below the one kilo mark and everything. I think if I remember it's about 1.6 kilos. Which is uh, only say 400 grams heavier than a couple of the bivvies I've got. So weight wise, it's good. So I'll be using it again in the summer seasons, no other time. I hope this video has helped you, whether you're going to buy one or it's encouraged you not to buy one and you've enjoyed the video, please go down below, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos coming up and hit the thumbs up button, the like button and if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.